Hello everyone, this is Ali Reza. Today we will start working on uh, a part of RPG API and that is item system. This tutorial uh, goes uh, in the same direction that Peter at Berserk Arcade gone for his item system but in the middle of the project we will start changing the stuff from the way Peter has done it because um, the way Peter has done it was a bit different and honestly we are developing an API and not a game so we need to do stuff differently uh, I suggest before diving into this uh, little series sit down put some time and watch some videos on C sharp and reflection in C sharp because we will going to use it and that's all I need you to do so let's create the project and it will be an empty project right from the start okay now uh, before doing anything else I want to port two assets here package and that is Visual Studio 2015 import and the other one is uh, fit load what oh, okay and the other one is on my flash drive hopefully it's there Yeah, it's there. U IntelliSense and port. These two help us on, uh, and of course I don't need the PDF. These two help us on developing the environment inside, inside Visual Studio. Now, in here, we will create a folder called RPG. Inside RPG, another folder called Item System. And everything for item system will go here containing a folder for our database data base and a folder for scripts now inside a uh, database I will create another folder called item category gory if I can type and inside scripts we have bunch of folders one is base another one is again database another one is editor another one is interface and one more for statics Inside the base, I will add a folder for item category. Inside our database, we will have two folders. One is called base, another is item category. And inside editor, we will have few folders. One is item category gory editor another one is item object editor another one is item quality editor item rarity editor and finally uh, equipment slot editor now uh, inside interface I will have only one folder and that is item category and inside our statics I will add again the item category okay that is the base folders we need the base structure we need now 
the easiest way to have everything inside Visual Studio from start is to have some dummy scripts inside your and of course it will give error parsing the project but no not a folder a script a dummy script everywhere There we go. Now I can, using Visual Studio tools, uh, go into configurations. I don't want to send the console to Visual Studio. That uh, gives me a headache when I have something like this error in console. And then when I go into Visual Studio, I see these errors and I can't get rid of them later on. Uh, open scripts with Visual Studio I want, running background of course I want, generate solution file, generate MDB files, I want all of them. So now I can say generate project files and it will be generated and open in Visual Studio. It will take few minutes or seconds depending on your computer speed and Visual Studio will com come up. I have Visual Studio 2015 uh, release candidate and Resharper 9.1 point something. And I highly recommend you guys getting Visual Studio because honestly it saves you a lot later on. So we have the editor stuff here and we have our normal scripts here. Come on, open. What's taking you so long, Visual Studio? Okay. Now, we will start with interfaces. Inside interfaces, Alt Insert from Resharper, Interface, I, Item, Object. My naming conventions are totally different than what uh, Peter has in his system. And this will be RPG item system as namespace. There we go. My item object has a string for name that is a property. And it did it again. Okay. Uh, sprite, and it will import the Unity engine on top as using icon int value int price int burden and then two things that I don't have yet item quality we call it quality a property and then item rarity and we call it rarity and then a method void on GUI this is different from the on GUI method that you get inside mono develop uh, scripts this is our on GUI and we, we will call it whenever we need to draw GUIs you will see how it works later on then uh, the next thing I want to make is those two so uh, inside interface another interface and that is i item quality this as a string as name a string as a description and a sprite as icon the same uh, stuff that happens for item quality will be used for rarity. So <clears throat> I item rarity we will have <clears throat> string name 
string uh, description and sprite icon. Okay. After these, um, we have more interfaces. I will add one section of the code and complete it and let and then come back for its usage because I think it's better. So I will finish our interfaces today. I item prefab. I item prefab is being used whenever again uh, an, an item in the system will have a prefab and its game object and we call it prefab and it's a property and that's all to it so when we implement uh, this interface we say that hey this game object should have a prefab that we need to instantiate anyway the next interface is a uh, let me check my notes, which one to go with. Item category. I item category. And this guy has string name, name, not pain, not pain. Come on, name. Then we have some booleans, not boo, come on bool and it is is equipable another bool and that is is this truck table another bool why is it doing it uh, has prefab and finally bool is stackable then we want uh, you remember we are going for destructible so we will have another interface i item uh, destructible it has an int that is called durability another int as max durability then three methods void adjust durability and it accepts an int as amount another void break and finally void repair the next interface is not that I'm there I item equipable all item equipable will do we'll have uh, equipment slot that we don't implement it yet so equip meant thank you sharper slot and then a method that returns bool and we say equip so when the equipping is successful we return true else we returns uh, it returns false and uh, then another interface and that is i item stackable And that is asking for int max stack size. That is a property. And a method that returns int, and that is stack. So it returns an int and accepts that int as amount. No, int. Ah, come on. Int. There we go. And our last interface is I equipment slot itself. It has a string as name, 
it has an int as id for the slot and it has a sprite as icon remember you can have for example an equipment slot class that doesn't have uh, an id and only have name and sprite but we are developing an api and we want to give our developers a way to use anything they need okay that was for this episode the next episode we will start creating our base classes that implement these interfaces one after another until that episode have fun everybody bye bye